Now then, following on from that last video about the uh, uh, faulty solar panel, I've got my mate here, Lee Rose, and um, between the two of us, we've been doing some experiments. The bottom line is that when you're um, investigating second-hand panels, you can do voltage, which all panels will give voltage, but then you can do short circuit current test, and normally that would be fine. But as we've uh, seen in the last video, these panels, they look perfect, but they don't behave in a perfect manner. So Lee, who I'm just going to introduce, here's Lee. Hello. Um, we were just knocking ideas together and I was asking him, well, what do you think? Actually throwing him in blind just to see um, what reaction we got and whether new ideas popped out. Anyway, we came to the conclusion that it's the wafers. So now we're going to go through the experiments that we did earlier. Okay, so this is the faulty panel. And just to remind people, we're just going to go through the various tests again. Yeah, what have we got there? That's the that's the meter, meter set set on current. Current. Yeah. So we're going to go between there and there. That's one point one six. Now the the light's not brilliant, but it's a proof of concept more than anything else. That one is one point one seven, and this one is. 1.14 okay now as the light improves we do know that these two sets of wafers improve whereas this end one doesn't okay so now we're going to check just show you the voltage and voltage across there 34.9 what we did was we knew that the wafers on the end here were faulty so therefore what we wanted to do was change this into a panel that will charge a 12 volt battery so effectively you want to disconnect this end set of wafers to that end what you could do is remove this tab like that and then short between there and there so you can still use the original cable and then put it across a battery and see how much it charges for a given level of light. So we'll just do that. So effectively what we've done is re remove that tab there just above the red yep, and then we've shorted it out so we've taken the power across to the cable yep. and then it comes down through the original cables to a battery 12 volt battery because one set of wafers is not working then it should theoretically be ideal for charging a battery so now we use a clamp meter set on DC and I've got that the wrong way round And at the moment, it's showing one amp. But the clouds are, there's a dark cloud at the moment. So we'll just leave this for a second and we'll come back to you. So it's another day and there's promise of better sun. So we've got this panel set up again. And we have a different battery. And I'm just going to show you the voltage on that. We're on 12.7 at the moment. Okay, so there's a decent load produced by that. And we've been through all the reasoning on the wiring up here. So we'll just wait for the sun to get a bit stronger 
and we'll do a test here. As you can see there, we've got good strong sun and it's 2.8 amps on this clamp meter. And to increase the load, I've put this bulb there. So we're drawing power out of the battery and out of the panel. That's a headlight bulb which we will use later. So three and we're getting quite strong sun now. 2.8. It's not very impressive is it? Let's just um, wait for just this very light cloud to disappear. Right, we've got very strong sun now and we're getting 3.2 amps with quite a load across this panel. 3.3 Oh, 3. Point, yeah, maybe 3.3 call it maximum. Okay, now Xanataf, who I believe is from New Zealand, though I might be wrong there commented on the last video about using a car headlight bulb directly across the panel to check the uh, the condition as it were so let's just try that uh, headlight bulb that we've used here as a supplementary load directly across the good um, wafers and then hopefully if we get time with the with the sun we can use a good panel of a known good almost new and see what that comes up with right it's not very bright and try the other one still not very bright and if we go on the end one not very much at all so there we go that's the bulb test whilst this window of high sun is here and here we have a short circuit current test eight nearly eight eight and a half amps let's try the next one 8.9, 8.6, variable. But we got the current there. And as you've seen with the bulb test, it was fairly bright. So let's try the other one. So this is a as new sharp uh, panel. Okay, and the sun's coming out and we've got it's the same sort of thing. We're taking power from two sets of wafers. Well, that tells you a lot straight away if you heard that crackling. And we just want the, the clamp meter. Seven, eight, eight. 8.7 so that gives you a good idea of the difference now let's just quickly whilst we got time do the bulb test we've got a very narrow window here yeah and we've got a bit of cloud there Just typical, isn't it? Just when you think you're getting, there you go, it's getting brighter. It's a really difficult time of the year. We've got these scudding clouds. But that's right. It faster, a lower, uh, a lower elevation. Yeah, so you, you see a big window, blue window coming over, 
and then it disappears, yeah. which is just typical. Anyway, that looks to me, my mind, brighter than uh, the other panel. And the cloud's coming over again. So this is a bit hectic, this experiment, because we're working within the confines of the sun. Um, but the bottom line, as I said earlier, is you can sort of trust short-term... Short turkey? <laughs> short-term is thinking. <laughs> Short-circuit current test. That's, but if in doubt, you need to do some more, whichever way you can do, with a battery or with some resistance. Or in, in some panels you can flip the box top off, but in the majority of them, even if you get the box top off, it's all encapsulated in there. So hopefully this will be of some use. It'd be interesting to see what anybody else thinks. But this way of trying to test stuff uh, to, to get to the end of the problem. We had a perfectly looking panel and it was faulty. Catch up with you soon. Say cheerio Lee. Cheerio Lee.